The first step, the first step was nice. The first step was the short one this time. It's the second one that took all the work this go around. All right, let's try it again in example two. Two x minus nine y equals seven. Negative two x minus one y equals three. Two x minus nine y equals seven. Negative two x minus one y equals three. Okay, step one is done because I've got all the x's and the y's and the lonesome numbers lined up. So I don't worry about that. Step two, I have to make one set of x's or y's like in terms of number, but opposite in terms of sign. Well, if we look what's in front of the x's, I've got a 2 in front of both of the x's. That's part of what I need. And the one on the top is positive, and the other one happens to be negative on the bottom. So that's exactly what I need. Okay, so step two is done. So I can go right into step three. I can go right into the summing up step. So. Got 2x and negative 2x. That's going to make 0x, so I'm not going to bother writing that. Negative 9y and negative 1y. If I add those up, that's negative 10y. And 7 and 3, add those up, and of course you get 10. And again, the equal sign just drops straight down. So I've got negative 10y equals 10. Well, that means I've got to divide each side. I'm going to divide each side by negative 10. When I do that, I get y equals negative 1. Halfway done. All right, so now you pick an equation you want to plug it back into. You can choose to plug it back into the top, or you can choose to plug it into the bottom. Jackson, which top. is top? Fine. I'm going to take this top equation, 2x minus 9y equals 7, and I'm going to change y into negative 1. <coughs> now, just for a moment, I'm going to cover up everything else here, the 2x and the 7. And you notice I have negative 9 times negative 1. Two negatives make up positive. So this has got to turn into 2x plus 9 equals 7. Okay? So I want lonesome numbers to the right. So what number has to move to the right? The 9 does, exactly. So I'm going to subtract 9 from each side. 2x equals negative 2. Divide across the board by 2, and you get x equals negative 1. So negative 1, negative 1. Yes? Must have done something wrong. Did you change negative one times negative one into plus one? That would probably be it. <coughs> All right. Example three. Negative three x plus four y equals five. 3x plus 11y equals negative 20. Negative 3x plus 4y equals 5. 3x plus 11y equals negative 20. All right, so everything's lined up. So as you see in front of the x's, I've got three in front of both of them. One's negative and one's positive, and that's exactly what I need. So I can go right into my adding up step. So we'll start with the x things. If I add those up, that's going to make 0x. So that's going to go away. That's fine. 
Next thing I would have would be 4y and 11y. I add those up and that's 15y. And I've got 5 and negative 20, which makes negative 15. So I've got 15y equals negative 15. I've got to divide each side by what? 15, good. Do that and I get y equals negative 1. Okay, Kaylee. Don't plug that back into the top one or the bottom one. Bottom one. Bottom one. Bottom. So I've got 3x plus 11y equals negative 20. And I've got to change y into negative 1. So 3x plus 11 times negative 1 equals negative 20. And I'm going to simplify that. 11 times negative 1, not the most difficult of multiplications. That's negative 1, or negative 11, sorry. Okay, so I've got to move lonesome numbers to the right. How am I going to do that? I'm going to subtract <laughs> negative 11. But remember, if I'm subtracting a negative, that's the same as just like adding it. So I'm really adding 11 each side. So I do that and I get 3x equals negative 9. And now I have to divide each side by what? 3. 3. Good. And I divide across by 3 and I get x equals negative 3. Example four. 8x minus 3y equals negative 5. 8x plus 7y equals 5. And 8x minus 3y equals negative 5. 8x plus 7y. Now, this problem's a little bit different because as you see, in front of x in both, I have 8. They're both positive. And that's, can't, that's not good because we've got to have one that's positive and one that's negative. So this is the first problem we've done like this. You actually have to change something to make it that way, which you can do. Okay. Now, I think we agree that if one of them's 8, the other one's going to have to be negative 8. Okay, I don't think that's a big disagreement at this point. So you have to pick which one you want to make into negative 8. I'm going to pick the top one because I can. Now, if I want to change this 8 into negative 8, I would multiply by negative 1. 